Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe. It's good to be here with you again as we kind of uh, go through these uh, Reformation treasures. Uh, yesterday we talked about how it's because of Jesus Christ alone, and, and that gives our faith its solid ground, its roots in hope and peace. Today we're going to look at uh, another sola, sola gratia, or grace alone. You know, grace is, is something that um, I've been thinking about quite a bit lately. And uh, really, it, it, it's such a unique uh, theme and uh, a pillar of our Christian faith that uh, you almost can hardly find it anywhere else. Um, grace is such a unique concept. You know, I, I had a pastor uh, growing up tell, tell me in, in a Sunday school class, uh, that uh, it's God's riches at Christ's expense. Grace, an acronym for grace. God's riches at Christ's expense. You know, the Bible talks quite a bit about uh, the concept of grace, especially in the New Testament. That word grace, uh, literally, uh, if we were to tr go back into the Greek, we'd look, that, and, and it really is charis, or where we get the, the English word charity from. And uh, we know that uh, it's God's gift of grace through Christ alone. God in, him, in his son Jesus came to deliver his grace and his good news for us on the cross. Jesus secured our grace, God's grace for us. You know, Paul talks about grace in this way. Romans chapter 3. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. You know, that's the reality. Uh, we're born sinful. We're born into sinful lives. Um, our parents pass that on from one generation to another. And uh, just like Adam and Eve fell into sin, we are born into that sinfulness. We're born into uh, doing nothing but sin. And uh, you look around the world, and that's still very, very obvious. And I think uh, at the same point, time, the world is very, uh, has a, a strong sense in, in exposing sin and seeking out sin. And, and while that's, that's good and, and God pleasing to address sin. And as the Bible would say, we have to confess our sins. Um, but we also have to be agents of grace. And obviously when we're dealing with human beings, we're dealing with sinners, all have sinned and fall short of God's expectations, God's glory. But I think as ones who have been redeemed through Christ alone, we have been called to a different way of living. Yes, we are called to uh, confront what God's word says and calling out sin, but we are also called to be an agent of grace, to share God's gift of grace. You know, I think of grace uh, the best concept to understand grace is a gift. You know, maybe uh, uh, you're like me and, and you get uh, gifts from time to time from family members. You know, I uh, just was with uh, some family members over the summer and because of COVID, we weren't together on, on our birthdays. And so my grandpa always likes to give us cards with uh, gifts of money in it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those gifts where I always forget that it's probably going to come in a card with, or in a card, uh, with some money in it. But it's, it's not something that I look at it and I'm like, I did something to deserve this. No, uh, my grandfather wanted to, to give it to us, uh, to my two boys and, and to Whitney and I, uh, as, as a, an appreciation to let us know that he loves us. Well, that's what Paul talks about in the book of Ephesians. We'll talk about that passion, that passage from Ephesians chapter 2 tomorrow, but it's a gift of grace. You know, it's undeserved. We can't earn it. We can't buy it. We can't impress God to receive it. But it's something he does out of charity, out of grace. Because... The reality is a sinner can't do anything right before God. 
You know, that's what the book of Romans talks at great lengths about. But here is what Paul continues. Yes, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace. What a word of comfort that uh, we receive Christ's justification, Christ's righteousness by God through grace. And it's only able to give, be given to us because of Christ alone. So when we look at solus Christus and we look at sola gratia, we look at Christ alone by God's grace alone. We realize how much grace is needed. You know, right now, the world needs grace. The world needs to know God's grace through Christ. You know, the, we can't expect the culture to be a gracious culture. You know, I think that's, that's what our calling is as the church, as God's people, who have been redeemed through Christ alone. But we also need to go out and we need to share that grace. And we need to live out that grace we need to be people of grace. We need to be patient and understanding when we're dealing with sinners. We need to be uh, not uh, react in a very frustrated or uh, uh, cantankerous way, but we need to act in a gracious way. We need to give people grace, and we need to remind people why we give grace and we're agents of grace. Because it's Jesus Christ's grace that covers all our sin. And that's what we celebrate today. In grace alone, given by Christ alone. And have a wonderful day knowing that you live in the grace of Jesus Christ. Blessings on your day.